So the first step for a vegan pasta is going to be the boiling of the pasta. This can be put uh, on the side and just keep an eye on it for about eight minutes until it's al dente. So I'm just gonna add in my pasta, bring it to the boil, and once it's onto the boil, I'm going to just get some salt for some flavor. While that's going to be boiling, I'm gonna move on to my second element, which is going to be my Napolitana sauce. So the first step would be is to get some oil heated up. So I'm gonna be doing 60 ml of oil. Bring it to the heat. We're now gonna start with our onion. Let's just test to see whether it's hot enough. Yes, it is. Adding our onions there. There we go. So we're just going to get this a little bit translucent and lightly brown. And then after adding our spices just to cook it out a bit. Let's give our pasta a stir so that it doesn't cling together and that it's nice and loose. As we can see, it's starting to come up to the boil as well. Now you we can see our onions is starting to get nice and brown. It's time to add in our spice. As soon as it hits the oil, you can get that fresh aroma and all those great spices that are coming through. So in here we have Raja hot with some cayenne pepper for the sting. The reason I'm putting it at such high temperature is because I want the spices to cook out and so that it's not grainy and not bitter to the tongue. We leave, the, we leave this here for another two minutes or so and then start the next step. Now that our spice is nice and cooked out, it's time for our garlic and our other elements go, to go in. So we just chuck that in there. Give it a small stir just to separate the garlic and ensure that it's all over cooking out nicely. And now it's time for our tomato base. So here's our tomato pronto that's going to be going in. smell that richness. As you can see, this chutney is quite rich and spicy. Look at that spice. And soon as it's going to start incorporating and cooking together, it's going to infuse and that taste is just going to be amazing. Okay, so salt for seasoning. Look at that. I would say just put a pinch because our spices already carry salt, so the salt is just there to enhance the flavor and to give it a bit more of a bite. Now that our spicy Napolitana sauce is coming to the boil and starting to simmer down, I'm gonna now strain my pasta so that's out of the way. Look at the softness, it just breaks al dente. Look at that color, guys, it looks amazing. And who would say this is vegan? I mean, it's beautiful. Now that my sauce is nice and reduced, we are now going to add in the rice milk. Reason being gives it a bit more of a creamy kind of mouthfeel. And we're not allowed to use actual cream because it's being uh, derived from an animal, not making it vegan. So an alternate to rice milk, you don't only have to use that. You can use either soy milk or almond milk. As you can see, it's a bit dark in terms of my sauce. That's because of it being reduced so long. The, the rice milk actually lightens the color and gives it more of that red bursting kind of flavor. Now that our sauce is reducing nicely, we're gonna start our third step, which is making our veg mix. So we get this heated up, thereafter heat some oil. So I'm gonna start off first with some mushrooms. While this cooks out, add in some seasoning. Got a small stir just to get the spice going as well, nice and cooked out. To add in some of our soya. Get that going. Look at that. The reason why these two goes in towards the end, so we still get that crunch, it's not completely cooked down. These veggies cook up real quick. Look at all these colors coming together. It makes me so happy. So I got a glass bowl to start assembling everything. Look at that. Amazing. More spicy Napolitana sauce. Look at that. Mm. This is the fun part. Just mix, mix, mix. 
Look at how nicely it coats our pasta. That's what we were looking for. Reason being why our sauce was so thick and reduced for so long. Less is more. But as you can see, we got quite a big space. So we're gonna fill it up just enough to make someone happy. Boom, we done.